Hello everyone, my name is Daggett and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to the table and today we are going to be sketching on the iPad Pro using red to sketch uh, using the Procreate app and you can go ahead and use whatever you would like. If you don't have an iPad, don't stress, just use some paper and a sketching pencil. So uh, in today's video, we're going to be drawing three really easy Japanese uh, inspired tattoo flash designs and they are all going to be cat themed. So today is like a cat themed tattoo flash video. Uh, let's start off with a tiger head. This is a big cat. So we're starting off uh, with an oval shape, like so. This is just going to give us the main shape for the head. And I want to pop a center line across the front, like so. And another one that cuts across the front like this. This is going to be for the eyes. Now, you want to keep these lines curved to match the contour of the face, like so. And now what I like to do is come down and forward with uh, from the point of intersection here. Down and forward. And then I like to cut directly back, like so. And at this point, you can just pop in a triangle shape. That's going to be the nose. And then on either side of this, I'm going to come down and loop back around. It's going to create like our uh, muzzle area. The left side's going to be slightly smaller than the right. Now, right underneath our line here, I'm going to pop in a couple of ovals. One. The other one's slightly covered by the nose, but you can still put it in. Two. Like this. So that's going to give us a starting point for the face. And for the mouth, I'm going to come down slightly back and just pop in a couple of small circles like this. That's sort of how I want the chin uh, to sit. Now I'll cut a line back towards the main oval, like this. And I'll put another big oval towards the back here, and that's just going to give me like a jawbone sort of cheek area, like so. Now I'll come up to the top of the cheek area that we just drew, and I'm going to come uh, out and back in like this, with this little triangular, sort of like a curved triangular shape, okay? So I'm going to come in. Uh, between these two ovals with a curve like so and uh, after dipping down I'm just going to come back up and join into the back of this uh, little muzzle area here and from the other side I'll bring a line that comes down also like this okay and that's going to give you uh, the basic sketch for your tiger head now one other thing to add quickly is going to be on top of the eyes I like to just come in and add in this jelly bean shape like so. This is just gonna help placement of the eyebrow ridge on the top there. You can do that above both of the eyes, just adding in this jelly bean shape. Okay, once you've done that, you can go ahead and open up a new layer on top of this. This is gonna be our uh, sort of drawing, our line work layer. And I'm gonna start off with the eyes. So what I like to do is come around the front of my jelly bean shape like so, and cut it back and come out from under that line and overlap a couple of lines like so. And then around the top, I can do these small flicking lines and this is just create the uh, illusion of texture. And it kind of looks like the fur on top of the head there. Now on a little bit of bunched up flesh uh, around this brow area. So I'm gonna add in a couple of additional curves like so. And the top, of the li uh, top line of the nose, that's just gonna be a bit of a wavy line. And then we can come out from the other side and add in our flicking lines to create the other brow, like so. All right. Now for the eyes, the outside eye, I'm pretty much going to come down like so. And I might add in this little bit of a cheek on the other side as well, just with a little wavy line on the outside. And for the inside eye, I'm gonna cut down at the front, looping back, under and up to the eyebrow. And now I can cut off this back section and this front section, shading that in if you'd like. And that's going to give you uh, pretty much where your eyes sit. Now, if you want to add in a pupil, you can just add in, I like to add in an iris like so. And then a pupil to the inside of that. And you want to make sure they're facing off uh, in the same direction. Okay, now as for the nose, uh, we're going to keep this one nice and simple. I'm gonna cut down like so and back up 
and that's going to create my nostrils just making the line a bit fatter towards the end there and then you can come out dip in the center and back around like this that should give you a pretty good nose shape now on either side at the bottom of the nose i'm going to come down with a line like so like this and i'm going to come out from underneath that line and come around the back just doing these overlapping lines uh, that are going to give us that sort of bunched up uh, muzzle shape like this now you can add in some varying size dots coming from each of those overlaps that's just going to create those dots on the front of the muzzle there. And then as for the teeth, I like to add in a large tooth uh, just to the right here. Like so. This middle section is going to have like four or five small teeth. Like so. And then you can add another long tooth on the other side. That's going to give you the top set of your teeth. At this point, if you'd like, you can add in some long uh, sort of tapering lines just for your whiskers. Okay, as for the bottom jaw section, I'm going to start a uh, nice fat line towards the right here. And that's going to give us the lip, uh, the bottom lip. And you can come into each dip and just add in a nice big tooth. And this is uh, the only two teeth I'm going to see on the bottom there. And then to add in my tongue, I'm pretty much going to add in a line like so that dips down this will be the center of the tongue and then the outer line so this side sort of folded over and that's the inside of the tongue and then you can come down the other side and just add in this thick line that's going to create the other side lip now from here i want to start adding some fur texture to my chin i'm just going to turn around like this and start adding some of those small flicking lines that we did uh, at the top of the eyebrows coming up and following the shape of my two circles here to create the fur around the chin. And I wanna have some fur up the side of the face too. So I'm just gonna drop a line like this and do a bit of fur uh, up the side of the face there. That's gonna help create a little bit of uh, depth and thickness on the side of the face. Uh, we can cut a line back under here for the base of the jaw. And then I'm gonna follow my big oval here with my small flicking lines to create the back of the cheek there. And if you want to, you can do a second row of these, uh, which I like to do just on the side of the face here. Now you can come down from the top of the ear to come out and back down. And you can double up on your top line. That's gonna create the hollow on the inside of the ear. And then I like to add flicking lines around that space of the ear as well. Just adds this nice little tuft of white fur on the inside there. And then to finish up the top of the head, uh, I don't like it to be completely smooth. So I like to just play around with the different shapes here uh, by creating these wavy lines. And that's going to give you, you know, different, different looks at the top of the head there. But it's something you're going to have to play around with a little bit. Now, if you'd like to, you can add in an additional curve of fur that comes from behind the ear and just down a little bit just by adding your flicky lines in. This is just gonna bulk it out a little bit and not make it look so skinny. And now from here, it's a simple matter of adding the stripes and I'm just gonna sketch those in. I like to come from the center line of the head, like so, and just curve out to either side. It makes kind of like an M shape or an upside down V shape coming out like so. And I like to make sure they get slightly larger as we move back. like so. Uh, for the top of the ear, I typically like to black out a pretty big section of the ear for my stripe, like so. And you can leave the tip of the ear white if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to come down the sides of the face or the cheek area here and add in some additional stripes. Okay, and that is going to be our Japanese style tiger tattoo flash. Okay, next up we're opening a new layer and we're drawing another variation on a Monmon cat, which I've shown you how to draw before. These are basically cats that have tattoos, uh, kind of like these uh, little cat characters. And 
We're gonna start with this almost hexagonal shape, okay? It's a little bit longer towards the top and a little bit more V-shaped towards the bottom. And I'm gonna come through with a bit of a center line, like so. And I'll cut from one cheek to another, one point to another uh, for an eye line. And I'm gonna add in my nose at about this point. Okay. Uh, dropping down and back for our muzzle on either side, like so. And it's actually gonna be slightly off-centered, so we're seeing it a little bit more towards the right side of the face. Uh, now, I want my eyes to sort of come from the corners of my nose here. So if you draw straight lines up from the corners of the nose, start to curve them towards the top, that'll give you a pretty good idea of where you wanna place your eyes, like so. Now we're gonna to come to the flat sort of slanted portion of our head here. And that's roughly where we're gonna put in our ears. I wanna do nice big ears on this guy. Make him look a little bit different. A nice big ears for our little cat here. And that's gonna give you the rough construction for the head. Now I'm gonna come just behind the head and add in a circle. Like so. And behind that, I'm gonna add in a big oval. Now to add in our limbs, I'm gonna to come to the front of this circle, add an oval in like this, another small oval coming down, and maybe another one at the base of that, like a little circle. Uh, I'm gonna have the other paw outstretched, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that front portion of the limb and the paw, so just this section uh, across here. And for one of the back legs, I'll do a big oval shape uh, that make sure you touch this back line, like so. And then I'm gonna come in with this sort of slightly eggplant sort of shape. So it's a little bit wider towards the back, comes down towards the tip a little bit. And then there's just gonna be another oval at the bottom there for the back foot. And for the tail, you can sort of take that in whatever direction you'd like, but I just follow this top line of the body and add in a little sw uh, squiggle or a little S-curve for the tail. Yeah. So for the nose, we'll keep it pretty simple. I'm just going to add in these little black lines on either side. A little bit of a love heart shape at the top there. And then we can just join them at the bottom. That's going to give us uh, our basic nose shape. Your eyes, you're basically going to follow uh, your shape around like this. And in this case, I'm just gonna add in a couple of lines like this for my cat pupils. Uh, they're sort of looking off to the side there. Now I'm gonna come down from the nose, completing uh, one side of the muzzle and the other. Now the other side is gonna come up and straight into the cheek, like so. You can add in some dots on either side and some whiskers if you'd like which are just gonna be long, sort of skinny lines, like this. Uh, I like to put in just a little semi-circle for the bottom jaw there, or the bottom part of the mouth. And then you can come out from the side of the cheek here, or the bottom side of the cheek, and just come back and around up to the ear for that side of the head. Uh, now to join up your head, I like to create this line at the top, and then come out and double up for each ear, like so. All right, for the front paw, I'm just gonna come down, smooth out my lines, come around to the front. And then I'm gonna come around from the bottom here and just go one, two, three, and come up towards the back there. Nice and simple for this. Coming around from the front on this side, a line that comes around like so, and come straight down into my paw, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, uh, maybe we can bring that around a little bit more. One, two, three, like so. Come around to the back of the paw here. I'll come up and join it back to the body. So that's gonna be the shape for our front paw. Uh, for the top of the body here, I like to just follow the general shape of my circles. You can dip in slightly more towards the middle if you'd like, to sort of create that little bit more of a wavy look. And for the belly, I'm gonna do the same thing like this. 
Now for this back paw, I'm going to create a little line at the front like so, which is just gonna give us the knee section. And it's gonna be the section that comes down like this for the back of the body there. And now I can come down and add in another paw and bring that line straight back up. Now for the tail, I like to just follow my line out and around. Like so. Now to make this Mon Mon cat, he needs to have tattoos. Generally speaking, you could just draw them on, but I wanna give you guys a little secret here. I'm going to go ahead and open a new layer, putting it underneath my cat. And I'll take a different color just to sketch with here. And I'm gonna use one of the dragon heads uh, from my ultimate dragon brush set, which I will leave a link in the description to if you're interested in checking it out But essentially this will make it a lot easier to do a small But cool looking dragon head and we can place that on the back of our cat like so and then I can come in and Erase any of the details that sort of overlap uh, areas that I don't want to be tattooed like the back of the ear there and so now the tattoo actually fits on the back of my cat there. And I can go ahead and take the body tool, which is really an invaluable tool for drawing snake and dragon bodies because it gives you the right template to draw them with. And I can put that behind my dragon head here and add in a body, just erasing the parts that we don't need. And now I can open a new layer on top of that Go back to a sketching brush and now I can go ahead and add in the belly scales for my dragon like so. Now the only other thing I'd do from here probably is add some clouds for additional background elements. Like so, you can just hand draw those in by doing these little C-shaped curves. And now you've given your cat a tattoo and this is pretty much how we draw Mon Mon cats. Of course, you could go ahead and uh, draw that back tattoo, but if you'd like to check out my brush sets, you can go ahead and click the link in the description and they're all available over at daggettdesigns.com.au. Okay, last one we're looking at here, guys, is a Maneki Neko. This is a lucky cat. I'm gonna start off by drawing in a big oval. These are like the lucky cats you see at uh, Chinese restaurants and Japanese restaurants. They're really popular. Uh, so we're drawing in an oval. And then at the top of this, uh, I'm gonna draw in another oval for the head that's uh, a fair bit smaller. And I'm gonna sort of cut down the shape a little bit on either side to create a bit more of a chin and a bit more of that cat head shape. So just playing around with the shape a little bit. I'm gonna add a center line to this and I'm gonna cut, cut directly across the center and add in a little nose shape like that. And I'm just gonna do these little ovals on this one for our muzzle, okay, just like so. And now I wanna come up from the corner of each side of the nose, again like this and like this. And when I sort of get uh, above that a little bit for the eyes. I'm gonna add in these little curve shapes, which are just like the little happy eyes, okay? For our lucky cat. Now from here, I'm gonna add in the ears. I'll just come to either side on the sort of flat portion again. Maybe the ears on this guy can be a little bit smaller. Now lucky cat's normally got one of his paws up, so I'll just draw in an oval on the side of the head here. And then I'll come down and connect that to the body with a curved line, like so. And maybe the other paw is gonna be down here and it'll be holding on to a coin as these lucky cats are usually for uh, good wealth and good fortune. So I'm gonna have his other arm coming down like this and he'll be holding a coin, which I'm going to draw in this oval shape for these Japanese coins or they're maybe they're amulets i'm not sure what they are but there's these japanese coin coin looking things uh, if you watch pokemon uh meowth has one on his head <laughs> maybe someone in the comments can let me know what that actually is okay on the left side here i'm gonna draw a big oval shape like this for the thigh 
And then at the bottom of this, I'm just going to do an oval for the bottom paw that he's sort of sitting on. And on the other side, I wanna make it a little bit different. That way it's varied. So I'm gonna do a front on paw shape like this. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and a big circle in the middle. And then I'll copy the height of the other thigh and sort of drop in the shape for that. Okay, I've just dropped in a little tail as well. And I'm gonna to come to the underside of the face here and drop in a circle. That's gonna be for the bell and just a line on either side of this curving with the same shape as the bottom of our face will be his collar. And I'm gonna come in to do my face here. So I'm gonna start with the detail uh, areas, just the parts we've already sort of done that don't need too much work. And for the whiskers on this one, I'm actually gonna come off the muzzle slightly and add in three lines. Slightly more stylized because these are usually little statues. Uh, above each eye, I wanna add in an additional whisker or two on either side. This is like the little eyebrow whiskers, like so. That's gonna give you a, a really cute looking face. Uh, so now we can draw in the ears by cutting across the top like so, with a, just a smooth line. Now I can come out and back down on the outside and inside line. It's gonna give us the ears like this. Now I wanna sort of uh, come down from each side of the mouth to figure out how big the chin is going to be. And I'm going to create a curve like so. And then I'm gonna join the face up on either side with a curve that joins into that line. Now for the bell on our lucky cat, this one's pretty simple. I'm gonna cut across about halfway, doubling up on my line like so. Top is gonna to be smooth, bottom is gonna be smooth, and then there's gonna be a hole or a circle here with a little line like that. That's just gonna give you the bell. And you can come down from either side of the face like so to create the collar and add in some holes on either side of the collar there. That's just gonna give you a little cat collar. Now doing your paws is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, in this case, let's go one, one, two, three, like this. And now I can go and trace over those little lines. Come around and then come down into my arm like that. So that's gonna give me a really simple little waving paw. And I wanna continue that down and into the belly, like so. Uh, for the other paw here, we'll go one, two, three, like this. Draw in each of the toes individually like that and then come around the top for the outside thigh. To draw in your other paw, I'm gonna go one, two, three again. One, two, three, four, like this. Uh, this outside line is actually going to continue directly into the arm, like so. And this inside line, I just wanna bring in like that. I want the arms to look nice and fat. Uh, now for the bottom paw here, this can be pretty simple. For the outside toes, you're just gonna loop around. For these inside toes, I'm just gonna do circles or ovals. Now I can just connect up the bottom portion of the foot and add a circle into the middle for like the paw pad and trace my outside line for the thigh. So that's pretty much gonna give us the, uh, the paws. Now for our coin or amulet here, they've normally got some sort of kanji or Japanese uh, writing on them. And I'm not 100% sure what it says and I'm not about to pretend that I do uh, know that. So I'm just gonna do these little stripes, these light lines across it. And if I was shading this in and doing it in color, that's just gonna look like a shiny little gold nugget essentially, uh, which it would work for what we're doing here. Uh, now the last thing we're going to do is add in some splotches. You can go ahead and just come around one of the eyes if you'd like. You can do one on each of these sort of elbow areas of your cat maybe the knees if you'd like to, pretty much wherever you'd like. You can make these more random or you can make them a little bit more uniform like I have here. Uh, but adding in these splotches, are just gonna add another little element of detail. And that is how we draw the Mineki Neko. Okay guys, that's three different cat themed tattoo designs for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye. 
if you like the content that I make and you'd like to support the channel, make sure you smash that like button. And hey, while you're at it, check out one of these other great videos.